everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. This week's project is a pen that I made for a gift. In this scene, I'm using the barrel trimming sleeve set and pen blank squaring jig from Penn State Industries to square up the ends of the blank with the tube. I started out with the best of intentions on this. I made some resin with some glitter and all of the glitter ended up floating to the top. So I had to scrap that part of it. So I ended up purchasing a blank from Custom Orders by Tink. I must say I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Here I'm just taking the sanding disc off the lathe, getting ready to put the blank on the pen mandrel. And here I'm putting the bushings into the ends of the tube to put it on the mandrel. Apparently I got a little glue in the tube because it was a bit difficult to get the bushings in the tube. Yay, I did it! Here I'm inserting the pen mandrel into the bushings. Just needed a bit more room there. There we go. And now I'm just securing the knurled nut to make sure that the blank is nice and tight on the mandrel. Now I'm just bringing up the 60 degree cone center on the tailstock to support the mandrel. Here I'm just making sure there's enough clearance for the tool rest. Here I'm just making sure the tool is at the correct position before securing the tailstock. I'm not entirely sure where I went wrong here, but somehow I missed the center of the blank even though I marked it out. So that's neat. While I was watching the Woodturners Worldwide Symposium, I learned a cool new trick from Mark Dreyer, and that is to keep a little brush nearby, and you can just brush off the shavings while the lathe is still going, and it exponentially helps. I highly recommend it. I'm sure I'm behind the eight ball on this one, and you already knew that. But just in case, a little food for thought. Here's a gratuitous, here's my shaving shot. I thought that looked pretty fun. <laughs> I really hustled the video through the sanding process. Went from 80 to 400 with the Epernet pads. And then I think it's 1500 through 12,000 with the micro mesh. And then the Meguiar's plastic polish to finish it off. And here's a little tip. When working with the bushings and the pen mandrel, use the included washer on the outside edge of the pen mandrel. This prevents the bushing from getting stuck in the mandrel. The more you know. <laughs> Here I've inserted the lathe pen press adapters so that I can press the components of the pen into the tube. Just a couple little tweaks here to make sure it goes in straight.
Here I am pressing the tip nut into one of the ends of the pen. For this pen kit, both ends are the same diameter, so I just chose the prettier of the two ends to put the tip. There it is. Next, I will insert the click clip assembly. That camera angle sure does distort it quite a bit. It looks like it's completely sideways, but I assure you it was straight. Ooh, it's getting pretty. Next, I put the spring onto the tip of the refill and then put the refill into the tube. And then the camera magically turns off while I'm threading the tip onto the pen. So here is the finished product. And a couple of clicks just to make sure that it's threaded properly. And there you have it. One finished gunmetal and sparkly white vertex pen. Thank you so much for watching. Special thank you to my subscribers. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Stay awesome, everyone. Love to all.